What's up everyone? Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Pam. I have a lot of plants and that's what we talk about here. And today I am going to show you a ton of planty mail. All right, friends. So I have had an incredibly amazing couple of weeks when it comes to kindness just flowing into my mailbox, my DMs, my subscription feed. It's bananas. But some of that kindness has resulted in plants being mailed to me out of the kindness of many people's hearts. And I know a lot of you were wondering where I got this shirt, how you get one. So let me tell you about it. But first, a very important FTC disclaimer. What's up bitches? The FTC have changed a few things and we need to make it abundantly fucking clear that I did not pay for this shirt. No money was exchanged. In fact, it was a gift. They sent it to me. They said maybe you could wear it on your channel and review it. So here I am. I'm wearing it on my channel. I'm reviewing it. I really like it. But I didn't buy it, just so you know, because I don't want to get fined $42,570. Alright, thanks. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, yes, this shirt is amazing. I am living in it. I will wear it basically every day until Christmas. And I am eternally grateful for both this gifted shirt and the donations that Mellow Monkey made for our amazing giveaway, which I will be drawing the winners of tomorrow as of when I'm recording this. Not sure when you'll see this. Probably after I draw the winners. So because I got these on all different days and different things were going on on those days, some of them were filmed as a chatty opening of them and others I will do a voiceover. But I wanted to show you these incredible plants from Houseplant Heather. And of course there was Lyra who sent me gifts as well as prizes for the giveaway. So I got a double amazing package from her with a little something from me and a little something for you. So it was a week full of granted wishes and I can't wait to show you them all. So let's get started. So here is a very beautifully packaged box from Lyra Loves Leaves and she sent me this gorgeous card with it and this super sweet touch of a little quartz crystal. She knows I like those and she does too. And then when I opened the box, I got this surprise of a mystery epiphyllum uh, cactus. She said she wasn't sure what kind exactly, so I'm kind of excited to have that. And here are the Curtisii cuttings and Alicia, who won the cutting of her choice, actually ended up picking the Compacta variegatas, which are coming up. So I'm going to pot up these Curtisiis and they're going to replace my waterlogged ones that aren't doing too hot. Some of them are doing okay, but some strands are looking pretty sad. So here is a Hoya Bertonii, and um, this is like sort of a cousin to the DS70 from what I read. So that's pretty cool. I don't have that. And then Lyra sent one of these for me and the other ones were either for me or for the giveaway. And um, so yeah, those are gonna get mailed off to Alicia and I'm going to keep the one that Lyra sent for me. So I have yet another wishlist plant crossed off. Thank you, thank you, Lyra. This was such a beautiful package. And I decided when I got a restock email to spend my $20 credit from Josh's Frogs. Uh, I still had to pay like $3 to cover the shipping, um, which got downgraded to first class. And despite many, many emails to Josh's Frogs, I cannot get a reasonable answer for that. Anyway, we have, we're, we're just not even going to talk about that right now. At least the plant got to me alive. I mean, look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Syngonium raii. And this is my first Syngonium. This is the Velvet Leaf Syngonium. There's actually a little cutting in here that hadn't rooted and was just sort of stuck in there. So I popped that in some water and it is rooting away right now. I gotta say I'm very frustrated with Josh's frogs right now. Um, this whole downgrading priority mail shipping to first class, which makes it so that you do not have the insurance that you paid for, um, just seems really shifty to me and I can't get them to answer why they're doing that. They promised to get back to me with some answers and I've emailed twice since and gotten nothing. So I think I'm done with Josh's frogs, y'all. Um, I, I hate to say that because this is a beautiful plant and they do have great prices, but if they ever do get back to me, I'll let you guys know. Okay, hey, hi, it's Wednesday. Um, we have a giant box here from Houseplant Heather. Uh, she told me that she was going to send me something. I, I tried to resist and um, it didn't work. So now she sent me a package, which is really sweet. Um, and it is huge. So I, I don't know what's in here. So let's figure it out. Let's 
says thank you. And thank you. Oh, she wrote what's in the box on the back of the card. I'm not going to look yet because I want to be surprised. She did tell me um, to be prepared that she had taped everything to the box. And I thought, wow, what a concept. And Josh is frogs. I didn't realize there would be so many things in here, so I just got it in this little baggie. Okay, this definitely looks like a Sansevieria. Oh, cool. It's like, it's, I think it's called a starfish Sansevieria. Look at how cute. What a little cutie. This thing is adorable. <laughs> it's so tiny. That is exciting. I don't have one of those. Thank you. This is clever. I have thought about doing this before and I, I hadn't seen it done. Oh my gosh, it's a tiny little piccolo manda. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at it. Hello. I'm your new mom. It is so cute. Holy shit. Precious and adorable thing I've ever seen in my freaking life. And the tag says limit one per person. <laughs> Heather, did you kill someone for this? Oh my goodness. Look. Oh, it's so cute. Thank you, Heather. That was one of my wish list plans, so um, that's very exciting. Okay, she's right. This one is pretty cool. So in her card, she said that she knows that I wasn't like a big Peperomia obtusifolia variegata fan. Um, but she said that this one was really unique looking and she is definitely right. And I definitely like this more than what I usually see. Wow. Look at that. That is really interesting variegation. You are not wrong, girl. That is cool as hell. Hey, well, I stand corrected. I do like some of these. <laughs> oh my God, there is more stuff. I keep finding things. It's a little baby philodendron Brazil. So adorable. These are all packed so well. <laughs> just frogs. Saving this big other big one for last. What is that? So these are some little looks like cactus babies. I think one of them had a flower on it. It did. Oh, this is that cool ass cactus. Um, the lifesaver one. So freaking cool. Oh, I know what this is. Ooh, this. There's dirt on my bed. It's a black coral sansevieria. Uh, look how dark the leaves are in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's another one in here. <sighs> oh, she said this is a silver dollar vine and it should be ready to plant. What is that? So this is a silver dollar vine. Look at that. I've never even seen one of these. This is crazy pants. So she sent the black coral sansevieria as my wish list plant, but I don't know if she knows that this was also one of my wish list plants. I also wanted a philodendron Rio because I have the Brazil. I don't have the Rio. I don't have one of these guys and I've always wanted one of these. So like, this is banana and, and made me uh, an obtusifolia fan. Heather, thank you. This is crazy. I uh, I like it. Don't even know what to say because this is so dope. Um, I, <laughs> oh my gosh. This is crazy. Thank you, Heather. 
Thank All you. right, friends, that's it for my incredible Planty Mail Week. It's insane to think that all of these things came to me just from people that just wanted to be nice. So I feel incredibly lucky to have all of these plants. I will cherish them always. There is something a little extra special about a gifted plant that just takes it just a little notch higher than one that you bought for yourself. Hopefully all my cuttings will make it to adulthood and I will have these plants for a long time. Thank you so much, ladies. This has been... Um, a challenging lead up to what will be a challenging holiday season for me and the kindness of the plant community continues to make this just that much easier to bear. So thank you. Thank you.